Let's bring on the Wildcats. Let's welcome in your Sea King Panthers. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the center of the field. The Humble High School Junior ROTC Color Guard presenting our colors this evening. In the rear, Byron Mitchell. The American flag, Maggie Ofke. The Texas flag, Belenka Pilato. And the lead, Algria Williams. We invite you to stand with us now as we honor our flag, our country, and the service men and women who preserve our freedom with the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, as our officials and team captains get ready to meet at center field, we have a special visitor that's going to be handling or helping handle the coin flip with Mr. Atkinson and his officiating crew tonight. We have with us Mr. Russell Pinson. He will be the Wildcat honorary captain this evening. He'll be coming through in the golf cart under the goalpost from the north end. Mr. Pinson was a starter and letterman for the Wildcats in 1939. And they were the 1939 district champs. But what they're so famous for, the defeat of the whole day of the Bobcats in a game that was then described as the greatest victory in the history of Humble High School football. In November of 1939, 73 years ago this month, 
Hall de Zeta came to Umber with the nation's longest winning streak in high school football, 43 games, spanning the period from 1935 to 1939. Umber was victorious that night, 13 to nothing, ending Hall de Zeta's extraordinary winning streak. The 11 starters for the Umber Wildcats played the entire game, never came off the field, and became referred to as the Iron Men of Humble High School. Mr. Pinson, honorary captain of the Wildcats tonight, is here also representing the other Iron Men of Humble who played in this famous game of our football history. From that team, there are only still three remaining alive. Escorting Mr. Pinson tonight are his daughters, Annette, Nikki, and Pam, all graduates of Humble High School. Glad to see you here, Ron. Captains of the C.E. King Panthers this evening. Number 70, Gregory Braxton. Number 73, Rashawn Scott. Number 77, Jermichael Franchot. Number 78, Christopher Dalian. For the Wildcats. Number one, Jeremiah Allison. Number six, Jalen Zalikoffer. Number 41, Jalen Johnson. Mr. Pinson, thank you for coming out tonight. Mr. Wildcat, we appreciate you and love you. For our C.E. King Panther fans and team members, don't forget, all games here at Umbles Turner Stadium are streamed live. You may listen, watch them live on the internet by going to texanallsports.com or watch them archived at any time. That's texanallsport.com. Leonardo Torres to do the kicking off for the Panthers. Denzel Davis, number two, on that kickoff return for the Wildcats. Brought down by number two, Darrell Christian. Wildcats will work first and 10 at their own 34 yard line. Number one, Jeremiah Allison keeping around the left side. Gets out to about the 37 yard line. Brought down by number 14, Darian Campbell, along with number 77, Christopher Valleon. That's, Jer correction, that's Jermichael Crenshaw on the tackle. Gain of four on the play, second down and six. Ball at the 38 yard line. Have a flag. 
back prior to the snap. That timeout, Wildcats. Hey folks, as all timeouts are here at Turner Stadium, this timeout brought to you by Ace Hardware Stores of Kingwood and the Tascosita. Got a project, they've got the materials and the know-how. Back to play, the catch working second and six from their own 38 yard line. Allison with a handoff to Christopher Harden, number 44, into the right side. Brought down by number 58, Philip Flanagan. Loss of a yard on the play, ball spotted at the 37 yard line. Third down and seven. Timeout called Wildcats. Wildcat fans, don't forget graduation. Project graduation, class of 2013. It's well underway. Committee members and volunteers are very excited and fired up about the making PG-13 an exciting and memorable occasion for all graduating seniors. But they still need your help. We'll get back to it. Wildcats work third and seven. Allison's pass intended for number six, Jalen Zellenkoffer, is incomplete. That'll bring up a fourth down and seven for the Cats. Brings on Oscar Zamudio, number 10, in punt formation. Going deep for the Panthers, number 22, Jolie Norman. Zamudio's punt into Panther territory at the 42-yard line. It'll be spotted there in the Panthers will work first and 10. 10 05 remaining first quarter. Spotting it at the 41-yard line. AJ Jeffrey taking the snap. Working his way into Wildcat territory. Down to the Wildcat 32 yard line. That'll move the chains first and 10 Panthers. Carry by number 48, Mark Womack, good for our two yards. Brought down by number seven, Nigel Williams, along with number 32, Wayne Dibble. Flags fly prior to the snap.
Jeffrey kicking into the right side. Picking up about four yards. Make that three yards. Stopped by a host of Wildcats. Led by number eight, Kyle Floyd. Gain is down to the 28th yard line. That'll bring up a third down and a six. 5.48 remaining. That's 8.48 remaining first quarter. Jeffrey again on the handoff to number 48, Mark Womack, into that left side. Brought down by number 20, Quentin Richard. Gain of two on the play. Brings up a fourth down and three. Ball at the 24 yard line. AJ Jeffrey carrying for the first down for the Panthers. Brought down by Carl Williams, number 59, for the Cats. That'll move the chain for the Panthers there at the 19-yard line. First and 10. Jeffrey's pass completed to number 84, Darrell Jordan. There is a flag on the play. Ten-yard penalty takes the ball to just inside the ten-yard line. Brings up a first and goal at the nine. Fumble on that play in the backfield. Wildcats have fallen on it. Number 32, Dwayne Dibble on that recovery. Wildcats will take over first and ten at their own 15-yard line. 7.31 remaining, first quarter. Flags fly prior to the snap. Five yard walk off on that penalty takes the ball back to the 10 yard line. Down remains the same, first and 15. 729 remaining, first quarter. Allison on the give to Harden. There's a flat fumble on the play. Looks like the Panthers have come up with that football. Recovered by number 58 for the Panthers. Philip Flanagan. Flanagan. 
Panthers will work first and 10 at the eight yard, first and goal at the eight yard line. A.J. Jeffrey, eight yards, the Panthers score. Leonardo Torres' kick is good. On the hole by number 22, Jolie Norman, with 7-17 remaining in the first quarter. The Panthers now with seven on the board. dealership had an opportunity to step up and do a sponsorship with KFL and it's a really neat sponsorship. The kids as you'll see here in a little while actually have cover this year so at halftime they'll sit underneath the cover you know in the middle part of the day it's you know 104, 108 degree heat index. Get on, get on, get on. Whether I help one kid or whether I help you know hopefully it's several thousand over the next five to ten years you know I want to make sure that I personally do everything that I'm empowered to do to give back and Texan Buick GMC is a big part of that. Number 80 Torres to do the kicking off for the Panthers. Denzel Davis taking in that punt, returning it out to about the 25-yard line. Brought down by number 42 for the Panthers. Amogee Wade, there is a flag on the play. at the 26-yard line. First and 10 Wildcats. 7-10 remaining first quarter. Number 44, Christopher Harden on that carry. Franchise number 77 on the stop for the Panthers. Gain of five yards on the play. Second down and five for the Wildcats. They're working at the 31 yard line.
Allison taken down in the backfield. That charge led by Stephen Denson, number 32, along with number 77, your Michael Franchoff. Loss of seven on the play, third down, and let's make it third down and 11. Allison's pass intended for Raymond Foster is incomplete. That'll bring up a fourth down and 11 ball still at the 20, 25 yard line. Zamudio in punt formation. Number 22, Jolie Norman deep. Zamudio's kick going out of bounds at the Wildcat 44 yard line. With 5.41 remaining in this fourth quarter, in this first quarter, the Panthers work first and 10. Mark Womack on that carry into the right side. Gain of five on the play. Jeffrey taken out of bounds by number 29, Tyler Osborne. Loss on the play is back to the 42 yard line. That'll bring up a third down and eight for the Panthers. Jeffrey's pass intended for number 81. King is incomplete. Number 22, Don Drell Hewlett on the defense for the Wildcats. That'll bring up a fourth down and eight. Ball still at the 42 yard line. Jeffrey's punt into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Wildcats will bring it out. Wildcats will work first and 10 from their 20 yard line for 55 remaining first quarter. Flags fly prior to the snap. <laughs> Penalty.
penalty takes the ball back to the 15-yard line. Down remains the same, first and 15. Eric Gibson, number three, taking that pitch back, going into the left side. Brought down by number 35, Nick Roden, along with number 58, Philip Flanagan. Loss of a yard on the play, ball at the 14 yard line. That'll bring up a second and 16. Allison taken down after that high snap at the two yard line. Wildcats will work at the three yard line. Bring up a third and 29. Wildcats will work third and 29, make that 28. At the two yard line, 319 remaining first quarter. prior to the snap. Procedure penalty against the Wildcats at the distance of the goal. Down remains the same, third and 29 at the one yard line. Allison coming around the right side. Gets out to about the eight yard line. Brought down by number 34. Courtney Clark. Also on that stop, number 88, Everett Anderson for the Panthers. The video in punt formation. Mudio's kick all the way out to the 36-yard line. That's where the Panthers will work first and 10 with 2.30 remaining in this first quarter.
A.J. Jeffrey into the right side. Picking up two yards as a flag at the end of the play. Brought down by number 58. Number 59, Carl Williams on that tackle. Holding call takes the ball back to the 46 yard line. Flags fly prior to the snap. Panthers working at their own 49 yard line. First and 25. A.J. Jeffrey in the middle of the line. Ball is blown dead at the Wildcat 47 yard line. Brought down by number 45, Brad Huffer. Along with number 59, Carl Williams. Jeffrey getting away from the defender. Makes an attempted pass that is incomplete. The intended receiver number 40, Rashad Taylor. From the 47 yard line, Panthers working third and 21. Jeffrey's pass intended for Darrell Christian, number two, is incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down and 21 for the Panthers. Jeffrey will be in punt formation. Number six, Zalikoffer. Number 29, Osborne, deep for the Cats. Jeffrey's pass. Correction, Je Jeffrey's kick. Spotted at the eight yard line. Wildcats will work first and 10 from that point. 113 remaining first quarter. Allison getting over the 15 yard line on that carry. Brought down by number 34, Courtney Clark. Along with number 28, Pablo Lopez. Allison picking up seven yards on the play. Second down and seven ball at the 15 yard line. Allison taken down in the backfield at about the nine yard line. Number 58, Philip Flanagan on that stop. Cats will work third down and eight. 
from their 10 yard line. That's the end of your first quarter. Wildcats working third and eight at the 10 yard line. Allison taken down in the backfield. Number 88 on that stop, Everett Anderson. Ball at the five yard line, fourth and 13. Samudio in punt formation. Norman Deep. Norman down to about the 17 yard line. Brought down by number 28 for the Wildcats, Alexander Young. Panthers work with good field position at the 17 yard line. Mark Womack on that carry, Johnny Bolton on the stop for the Wildcats. Gain of three on the play, along with seven. A.J. Jeffrey into that left side. Brought down by a host of cats, led by number 40, Five, Brad Hopper, along with number 55, Devin Robinson. Jeffrey to the 14 yard line. Brought down by number 29, Tyler Osborne. Gain is for the 15 yard line. Panthers will work third and eight. A.J. Jeffrey to the five yard line. Had a move the change for the Panthers. Sets them up first and go at the five. Osborne on the stop for the catch.
Jeffrey into that left side. Wayne Dibble on that stop, leading that defensive charge. Taken down in the backfield. Jalen Johnson, number 41, on that takedown. We've got a takeaway. Wildcats, Tyler Osborne on that recovery and run back. Wildcats take it back at the 13 yard line. First and 10, a 20 remaining second quarter. Khalil Parati on that carry around the right side. Gain of a yard on the play. Brought down by number 14, Darian Campbell. Sets up a second and nine. Ball at the 14 yard line. 7.50 remaining second quarter. Number one, Jeremiah Allison on that carry. Brought down by number 88, Everett Anderson. Gain is out to the 17 yard line. Brings up third and six. Allison taken down in the backfield. Number 77 on the defense for the Panthers. Jermichael Franshaw. Losses back to the original line of scrimmage. Brings Oscar Zamudio into punt formation. Ball is partially blocked. Number 14, Darian Campbell. Partially blocking that ball. Taking it out of bounds. Panthers will work first and 10 at the 17 yard line. A.J. Jeffrey taken out of bounds by number eight, Kyle Floyd. There was a flag on the play. 
10 yard penalty first, first down. That holding penalty takes the ball back to the 25 yard line. Screen pass to Jeffrey. Taken down by number 22 for the Wildcats. Dontrell Hewlett along with number 32, Dwayne Dibble. Game is to the 29, 20 yard line, second down and 12. Jeffrey around that left side. Taken out of bounds by number 23 for the Wildcats, Brent Walker. Ball spotted at the 15 yard line, brings up a third and eight. 5.06 remaining, first, second quarter. Josh Walters pass is incomplete, intended for Jeffrey. From the 15 yard line, fourth down and eight. Screen pass. 15 yards, Josh Walter to number three, A.J. Jeffrey, Panthers score. Leonardo Torres in extra point formation. Torres' kick is good. With 4.55 remaining in this second quarter, the Panthers now with 14 on the board. Welcome to Turner Stadium, football fans. Be sure to come by Matt Bowl after the game. Brocker, head coach of Texan Buick GMC. And if you've driven by our place, you know we've just totally renovated and remodeled. Wow, what a facility we have now. Our new facility is one of the ways that we treat you better. The all-new Texan Buick GMC, located at 59 in Will Clay. Shop 24-7, TexanGM.com. Hey, this is Burt Brocker, head coach of Texan Buick and GMC. And I'm proud to bring you the tailgate from Texan Plaza. That's right, at the all-new Turner Stadium. And this year, it's going to be hosted by... The one and only from 610 Sports Radio, Mr. John Lopez. Torres, number 80, to do the kicking off for the Panthers. Osborne and Zalikoff are deep for the Wildcats. Tyler Osborne returning that punt to about the 26 yard line.
With the offsides penalty on the kickoff team, the Wildcats will take the penalty, move it up five yards. They'll work first and 10 at their own 32 yard line. We're 449 remaining second quarter. Allison taken down by number 58, Philip Flanagan, along with number 35, Nick Roden. Losses back to the 27 yard line. Brings up a second and about 14 for the Cats. Allison taken down again in the backfield, this time by number 88, Everett Anderson. Ball spotted at the 17-yard line. Third down and 25. Number 44, Harden, on that carry. Fumble on the play. Panthers take over first and 10. Ball at the 21 yard line. 325 remaining second quarter. Jeffrey on the carry into the left side. Brought down by number 22 for the Cats, Dontrell Hewlett. Loss of two on the play, brings up a second down and 12, ball at the 23 yard line. Jeffrey stumbling coming out of the backfield. Goes down for the loss back at the 27 yard line. Brings up a third and 16. Tyler Osborne, number 29 on that interception for the Cats. Taken down at the one yard line. But the Wildcats stop the drive, take over first and 10 with 202 remaining in this second quarter. Again, Tyler Osborne with that interception for the Cats.
Allison carrying into that left side. Your attention please, your attention please, Wildcat Band Senior Parents. You're asked to please meet at the northwest corner of the stadium at the entrance. That's Wildcat Senior Band Member Parents. You're meeting now at the north end of the stadium. Allison again on the carry. Picks up yardage out over the 10 yard line. Brought down by number 36 for the Panthers, Jalen Wilson. C.E. King with that timeout. Wildcats looking at a third down and two, working at the 10 yard line. Allison again working for that first down yardage. Brought down by number 32, Stephen Denson. That'll move the change for the Cats. It's first down yardage. At the 13, make that the 12 yard line. Clock running, one minute remaining, second quarter. Allison taken down in the backfield by number 42, Amanji Wade. Losses all the way back to the six yard line. It'll bring up a second down and 17. Eric Gibson on that carry takes us to the end of the first half. Once again, senior band parents, we're asking please, Wildcat senior band members, parents, let's meet at the north end.
And now, for your halftime entertainment, please welcome the 2012-2013 King High School Pantherette Dance Team. The Pantherettes are under the direction of Brooke Luther and under the field direction of Senior Colonel Lexis Thompson. The Pantherettes will be entering the field to the traditional That's Entertainment. The 2012-2013 Pantherette military officers are Lieutenant Junior Kenya Walker. Lieutenant Junior Kiara Thompson. Lieutenant Colonel Senior Brandy Mack. Colonel Senior Lexis Thompson. The 2012-2013 Pantherette Social Officers are Spirit Leader, Alicia Felix. Historian, Senior, Chelsea Graham. Secretary, Senior, Brittany Prater. President, Katie Norwood. This week's Pantherette of the Week, Olivia Estimable. This week's Spirit Girl of the Week, Kiara Thompson and Kenya Walker. The Pantherettes would like to dedicate this performance to some very special people. Mrs. Walker, Mrs. Norwood, and Mrs. Perkins, thank you for all you have done for us during football season. Mom and Dad Luther, thank you for always supporting us. We love and appreciate all of you. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as the Pantherettes perform a kick routine to rock and roll all night. On your feet, Panther fans, and welcome to the field, the pride of King High School, the Mighty Panther Marching Band. This year's show takes us on a journey across Europe with stops in various destinations throughout the continent. 
Join us as we take an exciting flight across the Atlantic, stopping briefly in the British Isles before heading to Spain with an exciting excerpt of the Habanera from the Opera Carmen. Germany and France round out our European adventures, starting with the Trish Trash Polka and finishing with the Can Can from Orpheus in the Underworld. Drum majors for the Mighty Panther Band are Travis Mason, Faith Ruiz, and Michael Gavira. Color guard captains are Caitlin Ransom and Andrea Young. Euphonium soloist is senior David Davis. Drum majors, is your band ready? You may take the field for exhibition.
Directors of the Mighty Panther Band are Mike Murdoch and Aaron Bonda. Middle school directors are Crystal Holsager, DJ Eisenhart, and Anna Duello. Percussion instructor is Michael Gonzalez, and color guard instructor is James Womack. And now, ladies yeah, and ladies gentlemen, gentlemen, to continue your, your halftime, halftime entertainment, entertainment. Humble High School, High School proudly, proudly presents the high stepping, the high, stepping high kicking, kicking award winning, winning Wild Cadets Wild Drill Cadets Team. Drill team. The Wild the Cadet Wild Dance Team is under the direction, under the direction of Miss Michelle, Michelle Stone. Stone. Your, social Your social officers, officers are Kirsten Bird, Bird. Priscilla Vaney, Janai Colvin, and Tatiana Mari. Spirit Girl of the Week is Jory Sewell. Dance Girl of the Week is Priscilla Vaney. Officer of the Week is Raquela Burnett. Ms. Stoke would like to say a special thank you to Shay Donaldson and Ralph Bradley for two great years and to all of the seniors for a great football season. Your 2012-2013 military officers are Second Captain, Senior, Miola Easter. First Captain, Senior, Destiny Francis. Major, Major Junior, Junior Brooke Burgess, Burgess. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel Junior, Junior Caleb Burnett. Burnett. And, and your, your Wild Cadet Colonel is Junior, Junior Caleb Burnett. Burnett. 
tonight. The Wild Cadets are excited to welcome their fathers, uncles, teachers, and family friends to perform a Wild West routine to ride. Dance your hearts out, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2012-2013 Wild Cadets. And now, and now, ladies and, ladies gentlemen, and gentlemen, once again, once again direct, your direct your attention to the visitor sideline. Side now, now entering, entering the field, the field is the Humble High School, school Fight Wildcat, Wildcat military, military Marching, marching band. band. They're under the, They're direction, under the direction on the field, the field by, by senior, senior drum majors, majors Dynasty, Dynasty McWhorter and Veronica, and Veronica Ortiz. Ortiz. As the Wildcat Band enters the field for the last home game, we dedicate this halftime to the senior class of 2013.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to recognize the 2013 seniors from the Fighting Wildcat Military Marching Band. Miguel De La Cruz, escorted by his band dad, Mr. Roberts. Taylor Hagler. Brian Lara. Escorted by his father, Ramundo Lara, and brother, Michael Lara. Mark Lopez. Escorted, escorted by his by mother his and father, father Luisa, Luisa and, and Mark Lopez, Lopez and his brother, and brother Luis, Luis Lopez. Lopez. Eric, Eric Magana. Magana. Escorted, escorted by his sister and brother-in-law, Grace and Lalo Chavez, Chavez, Chavez and his niece, and Emily, Emily Chavez. Chavez. Dynasty, Dynasty McWhorter. Escorted by her mother and father, Rosalind and Aubrey Hutchins, and grandmother, Lucy Lewis. Colby Olsen. Escorted by his mother and stepfather, Tracy and John Carroll. Veronica Ortiz. Escorted by her mother, Martina Rotundo. And, and Ruben, Ruben Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Also escorted by his band mom, Mrs. Mrs. T. And ladies and gentlemen, these are the senior class of the Wildcat Band of 2013. And now, what the band has been waiting for this year's band bow is Ruben Rodriguez. And the band sweetheart is Dynasty McWhorter. Congratulations to all the seniors in the class of 2013. Thank you for your support this year of the students of Uncle High School. The marching band directors, Corey Roberts, building principal, Dr. Charles Nunn. Vertical Superintendent is Trey Kramer and Superintendent of the Schools, Dr. Guy Sconzo, reminding you, Go Wildcats!